Would you look at that monster of a bar? Okay, look at it no justice. Oh my, he is huge. Bump the lens makes him look tiny. Like, what the heck? Look. Look how big he is. Look at all these cracks. Whoa, that's some dark stuff going on in the back. Like, look at this. It just said it's like normal 555. Look at that, it's just wide, just like a mess, I'm sure it'll debunk. Piece of something. Look at all the controls. Wow, it's packed with the B-roll. It's my other camera, so. Alright guys, today, I'm going to be showing you how to restore an old dead head or a big old shed. So you can see there's a whole bunch of cracks and everything all along because he's been laying out for a long time so I'm gonna show you how to restore him and make him look like or make him look as fresh as possible so let's get into the video okay apology uh, my apology that the whole thing doesn't fit in the screen but I'm trying to do a, a close-up so that you can see what I'm doing so as you can see on this side I already did a little bit right there but so, what we're gonna do, here, we're gonna get uh, this plastic wood, X, so a wood filler, and uh, you just get some, pop it open, it smells like a, a fishing bait, like, so you grab it, and uh, here, I'll show you on this side, so you can see right there, there's a whole bunch of cracks. Just get it and rub it in. Just keep rubbing it in. It's kind of hard to do it like this. You just keep rubbing it. You can see the cracks through it. If you can see the cracks through it, you just need to put some more in there and you just fill up the cracks. Until it's nice and smooth and there's barely any cracks showing. So this might take you a little while, but hey, if it takes a while to restore a nice antler, why not? All right, guys, so I got this side, as you can see. It's kind of hard to see out here. Here, try something. Bam, I don't know how that's gonna work, but you can see there's all of these cracks. The sides were the same, except this end has got a nice little blade. You can see, let it focus, bam. See here. Yeah, okay. Focus. See, there's like nothing left. Look at these tines. A little bit, but so mainly. So uh, mainly, you just do what I showed you in the beginning. Just 
get it and smear it all over the whole antler. And um, so yeah, just do that and cover all the ant, like everything that's open. But if there's like a little bit of white, that's still okay. Cause uh, the next step is gonna be uh, painting it. Uh oh, Phew. I thought the nose broke off. So now we're going to paint it with latex paint and um, well basically we're giving this a base so that we can uh, put the so while we're uh, painting it we're uh, giving the horns a base, the antlers of the base and yeah, so just put it on and uh, if you took velvet off of a uh, deer, uh, the antlers would be fully white because they get the coloration from uh, rubbing on trees and stuff. And um, doing this you want to be careful to eliminate, eliminate any uh, I forgot to mention one thing. You're gonna want to mix your uh, paint with some water, and that makes it so that, like a little bit of water, so that you don't see the uh, marks from the brush. So yeah, put a little bit of water in the paint so that it gets rid of the streaks. All right, so we got our head, and we got some wood stain. Early American. So we're gonna need a old rag for this, or something that you can wipe it with. So yeah, gonna cover the antlers. So you can't see, but we got the first layer on that side, and that one is still white. But a lot of you are probably wondering, like, you didn't understand why you need to paint the antlers. Let me show you an example. I uh, tore a little piece off, but I'm going to paint over it. I just want to show you guys what happens if you don't paint it all white that happens so now you know why you wanna uh, paint the antlers because if you don't it's gonna be like just pure brown and not the natural looking antler color so yeah now yeah I'm gonna go paint over it and then yeah Okay, to take off the shine, we're going to need some steel wool and um, the fine stuff, like this. And we're just going to rub it against the antler like this. So you can see it's really shiny. Here, right there. Just take it off, you can't really... It's taking it off. But because of the reflection of the light, it's still making it shiny, but... Just, you just very lightly just go over it and don't press too hard and it gets rid of the shine.
Okay guys, this is the final product. I think it looks great from when it was in the beginning. Uh, here's a clip when I found it. So you can really see a difference before and after. Uh, it's really great, I think it worked out. I just need to clean the skull now. And when you're doing this, uh, try to cover your skull with something. I forgot to do that. And as you can see, it's kind of dirty. But other than that, I think this buck looks great. Um, if you like this video and if it helps you, the the restoring part, leave a like. Because this took a while to do. But I think in the end, he looks awesome. Um, and thanks for watching. If you want to follow me on Instagram to see what I'm doing, uh, sneak peek, sneak peeks and all that good stuff, follow me on Instagram, al underscore underscore kig. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video. Hope you uh, enjoyed this one. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, check this out. And also, check out last week's video. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. Uh, right here. Click here to watch that video. And click right here to subscribe. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.